everyone and welcome to Isip Nayan, your math guide through senior high school. So for today's video, we are going to discuss logarithmic equations and inequalities. So do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Isip Nayan. The objective for today's video is to be able to solve for the solution of logarithmic equations and inequalities. So to start with, let us first define logarithm. So logarithm is used to compute for the exponent to which a base must be raised to yield a certain power. So logarithm is basically the inverse operation to exponentiation. It answers the question how many times must a number be used as a factor to get that particular number. So a scale for you to be able to solve logarithmic equations and inequalities is for you to change um, exponential equations into its logarithmic form. For example, we have 3 raised to x equals y. So in an exponential equation, you have three parts. First is your base. And then you also have your exponent and y here is called power. So when you change this exponential equation into its logarithmic form, you take the logarithm of the power to the base equals the exponent. So we will have logarithm of y to the base 3 equals x. Same thing, you'll also be needing to change logarithmic equation into its exponential form. So say for example, we have logarithm of 343 to the base 7 is equal to 2x. So we have a base of 7, a power of 343, and an exponent of 2x. So when we change this into its exponential form, we have 7 raised to 2x equals 343. Let's try to solve logarithmic equations. So in solving logarithmic equations, you have to remember the property of equality of logarithmic equations. So it states that the powers of two logarithmic expressions on both sides of the equation are equal if and only if their bases are equal. Let's have an example. Say we have the equation logarithm of 9x base 3 is equal to 5. So to solve for this, you have to change this equation into its exponential form. So when you try to change this into its exponential form, we'll have 3 raised to 5 equals 9x. So simplifying, we'll have 243 equals 9x. Divide both sides by 9, then you'll have the value of x as 27. Let's have another example. Say we have the equation logarithm of 2x minus 1 to the base 5 equals logarithm of x plus 1 to the base 5. So according to our property of equality of logarithmic equations, if you have two logarithms with the same base, then you can equate the powers. So we'll have, we will drop uh, the logarithm and just equate the powers to x minus 1 and x plus 1. So solving for x, we transpose x and negative 1 to the other side. So we'll get 2x minus x equals 1 plus 1. x, therefore, x is equal to 2. Now let us have the logarithm of 3x to the base 3 plus logarithm of 5 to the base 3 equals 3. So in this case, you first have to apply your loss of logarithm. So um, applying the product rule of the loss of logarithm, um, we can simplify logarithm of 3x base 3 plus logarithm of 5 base 3 as logarithm of 3x times 5 to the base 3 equals 3. So 3x times 5 is a 15x and then we can transform this into its exponential form. So we'll have 3 raised to 3 equals 15x. Dividing both sides by 15, so we will have the value of x as x equals 3 over 5. Now let's move on to solving logarithmic inequalities. So in solving logarithmic equalities, you have to remember the following. First, if you have logarithm of x to the base a greater than y, it is equivalent to x greater than a raised to y. 
same goes if you have logarithm of x base a less than y it is also equivalent to x less than a raised to y now if you have two logarithmic um, expressions with the same base on both sides of the inequality then you can drop the logarithm and just use the powers let's have an example say we have the logarithm of 2x plus 1 to the base 3 less than 4 so um, let us first transform this logarithmic inequality into its exponential form. So using our rule from earlier, so we, this can be uh, equivalent to 2x plus 1 less than 3 raised to 4. So let's solve this by transposing uh, 1 to the other side of the inequality. So I have 2x less than 81 minus 1. 2x is less than 80, divide both sides by 2, therefore, x is less than 40. Okay, but for an inequality, remember that if you have a positive base, your power should always be positive as well. Okay, so you have to make sure that 2x plus 1 is greater than 0. So let's try to find the value of x that would make 2x plus 1 greater than 0. So 2x is greater than negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. So we have x greater than negative 1 half. Combining the two inequalities together, our answer would now be x greater than negative 1 half but less than 40. Now let us try this example. Say we have logarithm of 3x plus 2 to the base 4 less than logarithm of 5 to the base 4. So again, since we have the same base, we can now drop the logarithm and just use the powers. So we have 3x plus 2 less than 5. So solving for x, so we transpose 2 to the other side. So we will have 3x less than 5 minus 2. So we have 3x less than 3, dividing both sides by 3, we'll have x less than 1. So again, since we have a uh, expression as our power, we have to make sure that this expression will be greater than 0 or a positive, uh, will yield a positive value because our base is positive. So we'll take values of x that will make 3x plus 2 greater than 0. So transpose positive 2 to the other side. So I'll have 3x greater than negative 2. And then divide both sides by 3. Therefore, we have the A interval x greater than negative 2 over 3. So combining this into a single interval, we'll have the final answer as x greater than negative 2 thirds but less than 1 move on to our next example. So we have logarithm of x minus 1 to the base 5 less than or equal to logarithm of 4x to the base 5. So using our property for solving inequalities, we can now drop the logarithm and just use the power. So x minus 1 less than or equal to 4x. Transpose 4x to the other side and negative 1 to the other side. So we'll have x minus 4x less than or equal to 1. x minus 4x is negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 3. Now since we divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, we have to change the sense of the inequality from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Therefore, we'll have the interval x greater than or equal equal to negative one third. So again, since we have um, expressions as our power, we have to make sure that x minus 1 and 4x are both greater than 0 since our base is positive. So let's start first with x minus 1. So transpose negative 1 to the other side. We'll have x greater than 1. Next is 4x. We have to make sure that 4x is always greater than 0. Therefore, x should be greater than 0. So when we combine these three um, intervals, we 
can say that the final answer would be x is greater than negative one third since it also encompasses x greater than one and x greater than zero so that is it for our video for today i hope you have learned something and i'll see you all on our next video bye everyone